Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and it is one that the community has been wanting for a while. We finally got in the good graces, and we got the Steiner Brothers. Um, so first off, we get Rick Steiner. He is a focused new-gen powerhouse, training ability at 26k. Blue submission moves do 100% more damage per turn, and blue moves start with two more move points. Links, so far just the new gen link of 10% more gem damage. Um, assuming when Scott comes out next week, we'll see what the Steiner Brothers tag link actually does. Just the one set of gear. I have four builds I want to take a look at. The first is available at 6-star. We're going to be doing um, the submission with double green. Submission being the camel clutch. Uh, 7 MP color submission. Choose 9 gems to make into green submission gems and do 156,333 damage for 2 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into cross break gems. Uh, green 2 is the cliffhanger. 8 MP. Deal 147 thousand two hundred eighty three damage and make 20 random gems into cross break gems and green three the diving bulldog also 8 mp do 156 thousand eight hundred eighty six damage and make 18 cross break gems into green gems entourage we're going to be running for this is butch to get the sub ready turn one um, Acro Jeff for more cross break gem damage because we're going to be making all of them green and the 50% for the cross breaks is more than the 35% from the green trainers. Um, Hall of Fame China for green gem damage and then Zombie Cena for 25% to the cross breaks as well. We're also going to make a couple more cross breaks too. Um, for the belts, we're doing some Fury 2s. We're doing an all heart plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. And our only tour option for six star is um, a six star tech razor with gear. So um, not something I enjoy doing for previews, but I am bringing some Shangos. Just I don't want to make a new character look bad. And this is literally the only option I have. So I'm going to be using a Shango at the beginning just to get this going. Don't at me. That is a mustache. I mean, I guess if I'm running the sub, I don't need the Shangos at the beginning, but you know. In my testing, it never failed that he just happened to get a green match as soon as it was done. So... You know. We try. We're trying. We did it! Yay! Okay, so 44k on the greens, 55k on the cross breaks. We're going to put out some more cross breaks. We're going to turn all of those, or most of them, into green gems. Which is going to recycle both of the green moves if we don't get enough reds in the... Never mind. <laughs> it's going to say if we don't get enough reds, we can just keep doing the cross breaks, but uh, not necessary. Maybe he'll let us stack the plate a little bit. What a concept. What a concept. He didn't get a green match, and he didn't pin us? There's no way we're getting a perfect run through, right? It doesn't happen to us. But, uh, board goes bop. Again, with the red cascade, 3.2. We are at a class disadvantage, so he is gonna be kicking out of things. 
it be like that. But that's fine. It's totally fine. This should hopefully... Yes, 85 on the cross breaks. Make a bunch mo cross breaks. Make the cross breaks go bop! Bop! 3.2. And he's gonna kick out and sub us. Womp womp. We got so close. Tried so hard. Got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. But I did, I did warn you. I did warn you. I'd be visiting prop topic at some point. If you feel like you don't have enough space, don't feel like you need to put all the sub gems out. Like if you want to just make enough to match your and charge your moves and then leave one in a corner, it's not the end of the world. Especially because this is only a two tier and sub. That should hopefully do it. It made the noise. Okay, we're good. We good. So that is one of the six star options with the sub. Let's go do a slight variation. Next build I'm going to take a look at is triple green. So again, available at six star, we are bringing in the sub move, which is the jawbreaker, also 8 MP. Deal 148,546 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. So triple green, we're going with Steel and Bailey to get everything loaded. If you have a six star Bailey, you can expect to get 100% more green move damage as opposed to the 65. We're running our truth for 25%, Gooker for 25%. And we got one set of takedown twos. We got one set of regular takedowns with a 200% and a chic plate. Whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100% for two total turns. I will be running this spec twice. Um, we're going to do the Sheik Plate first. And then if you don't have one, I'm going to run it with the uh, King Seamus Crown Plate. It's 50% more damage to your green moves. Um, so that should hopefully give a better idea of what kind of damage you can expect with that plate instead of the Sheik. But this should be fairly straightforward recycling. All right, first things first. They wouldn't possibly put an anti-stun, would they? No, it's 3% move defense. All right, there is a god. Uh, Jawbreaker, we got 705, 699, 744 to start. Start your engines. I love that it freezes when he's midair. Come on now. Let's see it in full. Stunned. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? Oh look, we fully recycled. Oh no. Bad news, Chico. So 1.5 on that with two rotations. You get class disadvantage, so. Kicking out a little easier. Looking like a three rotation thing. Uh, so 1.5 on the stun move. 1.7 on the cliffhanger. So maybe two mil. Maybe two mil here. That's damn close. 
Listen, I was only off by 46 or 47. 1.9999953. We almost had it. Uh, but that should be, that should be GG's. And we got the leftover cross break too. You love to see it. Uh, let's quickly run this back. I'm gonna toss on the Seamus plate. Little bit lower damage, but just to give an idea. All right, so we're running this back, and this time we have the King Seamus's crown plate. Whenever you make four or more cross break gems, increase your red gem damage by 150%, and your green move damage by 50% for two turns. So gonna be a little lower, but a plate that I think more people have, so worth taking a look at. Start with a critical, because why not? There are the cross breaks. We got a nice little um, red cascade too, because it does boost the red gem damage. He is a powerhouse, so that's going to help. So 779. Only going to trigger with this move. At 772. Now that's 901. So probably take four rotations instead of three, unless we keep getting red gem cascades, but. If the opponent doesn't have an anti-stun, you're basically in control the entire time. That up and rolling. So that's at 823. Our red gems are at 91k. So we should be able to break a few of those. Yeah, four rotations is looking like. But that's totally fine. Four turns he's stunned for. 1.1 on the jawbreaker with a crit. 920 on the cliffhanger. 117 on the red gems. And 1.2 mil, another critical hit. But a little bit lower move damage, a little bit higher red gem damage. So if you don't have the Sheik Plate, I think the King Seamus Crown is a very suitable alternative. Um, let's switch focus from the green moves and go take a look at some other sets. Next build that we are going to take a look at brings in the finisher and the submission. Finisher being the Steiner line 10 MP. Deal 231,299 damage and choose a 2x7 area to swap into blue gems. Uh, the submission is the Camel Clutch 7 MP color submission. Choose nine gems to make into green submission gems and do 156,333 damage for two turns while submission gems are on the gem board. We've already seen the sub. I don't know why I'm reading it again. Uh, and blue one is the elbow drop 6 MP. Deal 130,094 damage and choose five gems to make into red gems. So the entourage for this... Lawler for blue MP, and then we're going full blue gem damage. Acro Edge, Hall of Fame China, Hall of Fame Snoop. And the reason for that is we have a new plate. We have a new plate. Uh, running some Fury 2s, and the plate is the Gremlin's Ears. Don't feed it after midnight. When you generate three or more submission gems... Increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. We did it, folks. We finally got the last subplate. Um, so we're going to be testing it out on Mr. Rick Steiner here. I will have a video testing it out on different people as well. But uh, let's see how well it works with Rick. So we need to choose five to make into red. Do two, three matches. I cover up his greens because F him, right? 
And then it's a color sub. We don't actually need to make any matches here. What you could try to do, because you're going to turn a bunch of stuff into blue gems, is... I don't know. I don't see the board all that well when it comes to this stuff. But maybe you do this. And then you can, like, break your cross breaks and put one there. Put one there. I don't know. Put one there. He's going to match a bunch of stuff, so... This is probably all very wishful thinking. Or he could leave me that entirely. That works too. Uh, 51k on our reds, 43k on our blues. Choose a 2x7 to swap into blue gems. And we could do that, and that cross break can go there, and that can go up, and that can go there, and that can go there. It kind of worked out. It kind of worked out. Uh, he is going to pin us with a swipe. So let's maybe get out of dodge here a little bit. There we go. And then hit the sub again. Trying to see if we can double stack it here. There's a lot of greens that he can match. Again, if we keep cross breaks, great. If not, whatever. When in doubt, just cover up what's already there. I was going to say, he can't match all of them. It's only two turns, and then he gets a wild card to the surprise of nobody. Uh, but now, 54 and 69. Nice. On our red gems, hit the finisher again. Um, I don't really want to... These aren't going to break into anything, so let's just do... Yeah, let's just go there. It's going to fill the blues regardless. Whether or not we hit red gems is just a bonus. Oh, and would you look at that. Oh, and would you look at that. We did it again, folks. And naturally, the entire board is full of sub gems, making it very difficult to see. Very difficult to see. Um, hopefully we get a blue match somewhere. Ah, drats. We were so close. Um, alright. I think we're gonna escape this one, folks. Get rid of his multiply gems because curses! We were doing so well. You were doing so well. What the fuck, bro? Okay, I said I was bringing Shangos in for this because, like, I'm not trying to deal with this right now. Not trying to deal with this right now. At all. Wow. Wow. That's what I get for using a prop, huh? This game, man. Something special. Tech Razor, still really flipping good. Yep, take your... Yep, that's fine. That's fine. We're just... We're just gonna do this. I ain't trying to deal with all this right now. Lots of blue gems. Board goes boom. Hooray. 1.2. Okay, so... 
I think the all heart build is better. I think. Um, especially with the cross breaks, if you're gonna turn the majority of them into green gems and then boost it 100%. It's not uncommon for a plate to come out with a character and then have it be not ideal on the character. There are a bunch of other options I think I would rather have here. Um, what I'm going to do is use my brain for the first time ever and put these red gems out where they're going to break. But the cross breaks. So that was better. 2.3. <sighs> It'd be like that sometimes. We can at least say we tried it. I think that triple green is, is far and beyond the build. Oh, I didn't do the thing with this stuff. Oh well. I think the triple green is the way to go. Um, that said, there's one more build we haven't looked at yet, and that may change my mind. I know it's going to change my mind, actually. Let's go set up one more build. Board going to go boom. Again. Last build we're going to take a look at is another slight variation. We're bringing in the four-star move, which is the overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex for MP. Deal 87,801 damage and choose a 1 by 2 area to make into 2 turn Juggernaut gems. That will increase your blue gem damage by 75% for 2 turns on every countdown turn. And modify a 5 by 5 random area into blast gems at the end of the countdown. Entourage for this, JBL for blast gem damage, Lawler for blue MP, Sammy for blast gem damage... And Hall of Fame Lita for two more red gems. We're going to try to do the five match, five match thing and see if we can get this going turn one. Naturally, in my testing, I have got it every single time, which means now that I go to record, I'm not going to get it. Um, double Fury 2s and then a Titan Plate. Whenever you make eight or more Blast gems, increase the damage of all your gems by 200% for two turns. So we'll have like... 486% or something stupid um, on our blue gems plus the 100 from JBL. It should be nutty. Gonna try to get this to work turn one. Pray for me. Okay, I can do this. I am a content creator. I am a Twitch partner. I am a YouTube partner. Some might even say professional streamer. Um, so I can totally get this to go on turn one. Um, okay. Choose seven to make into red gems. What we're going to do here is make... Uh, we're going to swipe into this. Three. I have four more I can place. Oh, I don't like any of this at all. I am going to uh, precautionary usage here, just in case. So we're going to swipe to get the wild card on the outside. That's one. Triggers the plate. Um, swipe that. We did it! I'm literally wincing, like squinting, because I didn't want to watch. Ah! Okay, we did it. Um, turn one, babies. Turn one, babies! Bat! Bat! 6.7 mil. We did it. First take, baby. No Stephen A. Let's wrap things up.
So that concludes our first look at Rick Steiner from the Steiner Brothers. Six star bronze. There is one move we did not incorporate into the preview. That is the Alabama Slam. Five star move. Six MP. Deal 117,254 damage. And reduce owner's tag counter by five turns. This move has no effect in non-tag team matches, but we've been seeing characters come out lately that increase the opponent's tag counter. So this is the answer to that. Um, didn't have a whole lot of um, tag options that I wanted to do off the top of my head. I'm thinking I'm going to wait for Scott to come out. And then maybe we can preview this tag team together. Um, but that's why I didn't want to show the move. I'm going to wait for Scott. We're going to wait for Scott. But that is the preview, folks. To reiterate, he is a new generation focused powerhouse. Trainer ability at 26k. Blue submission moves do 100% more damage per turn. And blue moves start with two more move points. Just the one link so far. Again, waiting on the other Steiner brother. Will they add a link with Braun Breaker? These are the questions. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Are you one of the people that is happy we finally get the Steiners in game? What kind of builds are you liking for him? Let me know in the comments of this video and on the Discord server. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.